WKZO News Time, 9.53. Governor Snyder has declared May 4th and through the 10th as uh, Arson Awareness Week, and we bring in our expert, the guy we turn to when uh, all things uh, concerning arson, fire, and everything else, and prevention and safety, Michael McClure. How you doing, Mike? I'm good, Jim. How are you? I am doing fine. I keep track of you on Facebook. Man, you are everywhere. <laughs> Just got back from teaching uh, firefighters up in Rothcom in Michigan. We had our uh, spring fire school for the Michigan State Firemen's Association and uh, getting ready to head down to Walt Disney World. Oh, so. really? Is Jay going with you? Jake is going with me. All yep, right. I, I won the uh, Firemark Award last year, so one of the uh, prizes is I get an all-expenses-paid trip to Walt Disney World. Well, congratulations. Really well Thank earned. You. Well earned. All Thank right, you, so this is uh, Arson Awareness Week. Let's talk a little bit about vehicle. Now, we... Uh, <laughs> You know, we have an example of arson uh, happened yesterday. Apparently, it, it had to do with uh, there was an ar- heated argument, and uh, somebody set the house on fire. Um, but when we're talking with vehicle arson or com- you know arson in, in general, what's the most common motive when it, when you come across it? The most common motive, Jim, is revenge. Uh, each year, the United States Fire Administration really looks at the trends and picks a theme that best matches the type of calls, the type of um, incidents that we're seeing in the states and across the country. And revenge certainly is uh, is the leading uh, reason for the motivation. And unfortunately, uh, you know, people don't always think of the outcomes. They uh, get mad in the heat of the moment and they use that fire or, um, you know, commit the crime and then don't think of the outcome. And there are great technologies and great forensic science out there that can actually uh, uncover and discover what the origin and cause of the fire was. So it's not something that uh, goes easily undetected anymore. So, Mike, this is, and, you know, I'm thinking here, I'm, I'm thinking somebody sets fire to a car. You know, there's this thing underneath it called the gas tank. I mean, isn't that like setting fire to a bomb for crying out loud? Well, it is. And again, uh, some of the arsonists don't think uh, that bad things are going to happen to them. Uh, They may have the motive to set the fire, but they don't think about uh, that they're going to be injured because they're a step ahead in their mind. They're smarter. And uh, there are uh, certainly dangers there. Concealment of a crime is another reason. Uh, somebody wants to try and set a fire to cover up a crime, possibly a murder or something like that, and make it look like the fire actually caused the death um, and conceal that crime. So there are some things, again, uh, curiosity. Sometimes we have youth that are involved in fire setting. Uh, sometimes uh, they want to just see what happens, and, and they don't anticipate what might go wrong. Uh, that was our arson awareness theme in 2012 is youth fire setting. And sometimes it's excitement. Some people really, uh, there are a select few out there that uh, enjoy setting fires and, and causing harm to others, unfortunately. And we're talking with Michael McClure, of course, the president of Escape. We talked with Mike. A lot of the, with smoke detectors and fire prevention and whatnot. We're talking now about Arson Awareness Week with the focus this week being on vehicle arson. I, the one that really popped into my head first was insurance. In other words, you know, if something's wrong with a car. You don't want to fix it. Oh, ah, I got an idea. Uh, let's set fire to it. That's another reason, isn't it? It is. It is. And that was our theme campaign in uh, 2009 was arson for profit, having people uh, actually set fire and then uh, try and receive those insurance proceeds. And uh, a lot of people don't realize insurance companies actually hire uh, fire investigators and uh, retired uh, fire marshals. Uh, So they have subject matter experts that are actually part of the team. And it's a team concept. Whenever we have an arson, there are a team of professionals that actually get to the root of the problem and uh, really try and uh, stop that before it becomes a community-wide problem because arson isn't a fire department problem. It's a community-wide problem. No one wants to live in a community uh, that's ridden with fire. Michael, before we let you go, if if people suspect that uh, maybe they've they've there's an arson fire, you know, in a vehicle, uh, or any kind of arson for that matter, should they report it to their police or the fire department? Absolutely, uh, either or is fine. Um, either calling nine one one if they if they see something happening immediately, or we have silent observer across West Michigan, which is a great tool to be able to report those types of situations. And uh, again, if people park their vehicles in well lit areas, lock their vehicles up, and really take that extra care to see what's going on in their neighborhood, be a part of Neighborhood Watch. We can work together to prevent arson in all of our communities where we live. It is Arson Awareness Week across the country, and Governor Snyder declared it as well, uh, May 4th uh, through the uh, the 10th. And it's um, 
it's something that we all need to be aware of because it affects all of us uh, at one way or another. So, Michael uh, McClear from the uh, president of Escape. Uh, Michael, you and Jake have a great time down at Walt Disney World. Well deserved, my friend. We're looking forward to it. One other thing I thought I'd point out, I did set up a website called Kids and Fire, K-I-D-S-A-N-D-F-I-R-E.org. All the information, the links to Arson Awareness Week are right there, and even the previous campaigns that we talked about. So one click away for people to actually go to uh, learn more about arson prevention. Fantastic. Michael, again, thank you so much for joining us, and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Jim. All right, take care. Michael McClure, the uh, guy from uh, Escape.